Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well and having a really great day in this video. I want to update you all of my crypto mining basement as well as some new hardware I got for my new mining location as well as uh, I guess essentially my new house for all of my networking and I just want to go through all the parts that I got. I'm extremely extremely excited to do this and uh, some other stuff in this video I have a few other projects that I want to talk about with you all <laughs> you probably remember this frame and the A2000s that uh, I am probably going to attempt to do a funny project with this and as well as uh, some other projects that I want to talk about in this video so before we begin this video is sponsored by Octominer if you guys are interested in server cases for mining they have the x12 ultra really nice server case also the x8 ultra plus this is a 8 gpu one it's probably one of my favorites i really like the 8 gpu server cases if you guys are interested use offer code red panda mining for 50 dollars off and actually they also just sent me a little care package here so let's just see oh look at this this is a octo miner octo box gifts and merch oh man this is this is nice look at this hollow octominer sticker this is this is gonna go on my sticker wall got a magnetic sticker there nice look at that that's awesome we got two like wow this is like high quality like wooden coasters this is this is nice man and an octominer pen of course that's awesome that is awesome i actually needed a pen octominer Thank you so much. Okay guys, let's go through. I wanna talk about my new house, new mining location that is currently being renovated. I would love to vlog there, but it's not quite done. So give me another couple weeks and I will be able to vlog there and uh, show you guys, just update you all of uh, just how I'm gonna have 400 amps over there very soon. And it's gonna be uh, two 200 amp panels, 400 amp square D panels, and I'm gonna have a lot of uh, power, essentially. And then my networking there, which I'm, I'm really happy and really excited uh, to get this going, is that I am going into the Ubiquity ecosystem. I am personally, just to let you all know, the history of me, I am normally a guy that's into like PFSense. I, I've done networking, system admin stuff before, so I'm more so into like HP, Dell, you know, Cisco type of switches and networking. So for, for me going into Ubiquity, I feel like it's kind of like a step down because Ubiquity and stuff is kind of like the, I would say the Apple of networking. And so what I mean by that is that you have to use their products to essentially have everything all controllable by let's say this Ubiquity Dream Machine Pro. This is the special edition version, which has 2.5 gig ethernet for WAN, also a 10 gig uh, SFP port for WAN and also a uh, 10 gig for LAN. I am actually curious to know if these, uh, this other 10, 10 gig WAN port be able to use to aggregate to LAN. That's something I googled and I think I found out that there's no support for that potentially yet. I'm not quite sure. Uh, that I will test out later in the future. But this is a Ubiquity Dream Machine Pro Special Edition. This is my new home router that I will use and I will hook up Ubiquity cameras, door access, and also uh, three uh, new Wi-Fi 6 light access points. These three right here. I was going to get the Pros, like the Wi-Fi 6 Pros, but they were all out of stock and I was able to pick these up for about a hundred bucks each on the Ubiquity store. So I was like, you know what, I, I don't, I'm not a really a heavy Wi-Fi user and I think three should be enough to cover my, my whole house, uh, including the basement and uh, mining location, all that stuff. So three should be good enough. And as well, I got a DAC cable. This is a 10 gigabit uh, direct attach cable, which will go for my 10 gigabit LAN port here into my uh, Netgear 10 gigabit switch, which is over here, which I am not really using and I don't have any 10 gigabit uh, servers or anything in this location and so this is a Netgear XS716E uh, 16 port 10 gigabit switch so I'm hoping that that ubiquity DAT cable will work 
in this uh, SFP, SFP port here uh, so that I can aggregate for 10 gigabit and uh, of course I'm going to do VLANing. I'm going to have obviously my main editing gaming PC on here and a couple servers and a file server for my videos and content upload stuff there and so with that my whole house is going to be wired for cat 6a it's already it's already all wired actually before i talk about that i also have a, another 24 port ubiquity poe switch uh, this is the us usw i think 24 poe this is not the pro version and i believe the difference is that this non-pro version poe switch is layer two protocol versus layer three. I'm not going to get into the difference between that. That's uh, networking knowledge there. But anyways, going along, I have a bunch of patch panel stuff that I'm going to install into my 37U server rack that I already have in my new location there. Uh, when I vlog, you guys will see it. But right now, it's just a bare metal open frame StarTech 37U rack. And I'm going to put this patch panel in as I'm only going to have I think 20 or 18 or 20 runs in the new place so that's really all I need I, I bought an extra run from infinitecables.ca which I, I probably don't need but I'm going to hook it up anyway somewhere as I also have a bunch of uh, three of these uh, cat 6a pass through uh, patch panels as I want to have I guess cable management on the server rack right and so that's going to go along with the infinite cables.ca thank you so much infinite cables for giving me a deal on the networking cables all right so i got a bunch of one foot cat 6a shielded patch cables here for i guess essentially the pass through i'm going to have my 18 terminated cables and here i have a bunch of the cat 6a uh, keystone jacks which I need to do all myself that's that's gonna be fun I'm probably gonna live stream uh, live stream myself patch paneling and punching down all of the networking cables around my house and especially at the server rack because all the server rack uh, cat 6a is all funneling into the back uh, at the top of the StarTech 37u rack so I'm gonna do all that myself that's gonna be fun but I have three so that's gonna hopefully help with you know the cable management and I did get all bunch of different sizes I got a lot of one footers three footers five footers seven footers you know I'm I'm all ready I, I think I got over a hundred a hundred different cables here but a lot of one footers as I am gonna need that for uh, the patch cables for the Wi-Fi patch cables for the uh, security cameras and oh another thing regarding the security cameras I have not been able to find any ubiquity cameras in stock and if they are they're all scalped they're all very expensive right now so I'm trying to look for the ubiquity G4 domes and also I think one or two of the bullets G4 bullets and I actually see the door access I think the G4 uh, Wi-Fi door uh, doorbell or whatever that one is also in stock so I'm gonna pick one of those up and essentially, yeah, I'm just going to be all in the Ubiquity ecosystem in terms of the Unify Protect, Unify uh, for the Wi-Fi and just everything as, uh, yeah, I'm going to see how it goes. Uh, everyone says it's really easy to manage the Ubiquity uh, stuff. So I'm hoping from me going from PFSense down to, I guess, Ubiquity that uh, essentially it should be easier in a way. But I know that PFSense is a lot more powerful and uh, there's a lot more it's a more open source and that in a way and actually one thing I'm kind of down on regarding the G machine pro is the open VPN support that I don't know if this will be able to implement open VPN as I want to have VPN on my whole network so if that if that's the case that it won't work on here then I will probably install my PF sense router I already have a uh, like an i5 a really baller uh, i5 uh, pfSense router here with a lot of uh, one gigabit networking. I don't have any 10 gigabit on here But essentially I'll probably have all of my mining rigs going through this through a VPN for my other my other devices like my Wi-Fi or my local LAN I will have to figure out how I'm gonna network and uh, essentially do all the VLANing and subnetting DHCP handling on this Dream Machine Pro as you know as well I was thinking that I do have a couple servers and that I may want to make like a domain 
I don't know if I'm gonna have Windows Server handle all the DHCP and uh, DNS in that way, so I don't know if the ubiquity here, uh, actually that, that comes in now if I need layer three switching protocol. So that will, actually, yeah, that will, that will probably not work now. Uh, now that I think about it, but that Net Netgear has uh, layer three, I believe, 16 ports. So I, uh, I, I have a lot to go through. I have a lot to think about uh, how I'm gonna be setting up my whole network, but I think that I'm probably gonna have just, I'm just gonna focus on this first and have all my DHCP, all the subnating, all the different uh, LANs and VLANs for Wi-Fi, cameras, all that stuff separated, hopefully going through the G Machine Pro. And uh, I'm gonna probably put a, like a 10 terabyte hard drive in this thing. Yeah, that's my networking for my new house. I'm extremely, extremely excited to get that going. I will probably have a video, a couple videos of me setting it all up at the new house. And uh, maybe you guys can come along for the ride. Let me know what you think about that. Now, let's go talk about my OctaMiner wall of Octaminers at the floor here. And so I just want to acknowledge that, you know, summer is coming up here. It's, it's already getting hot. Like I'll show you guys the temperatures uh, right here. It's 92 Fahrenheit. We got 97 and we got 94 Fahrenheit over here. So it's, it's decently hot, right? It's decently hot. Let me show you uh, over here uh, right now. The temperature around this area is 84. So, right, all the, essentially all the colder air is funneling through this way. And then it's all going up into the exhaust fan. So, what I'm wanting to test with these OctaMiners is, you know, if I'm gonna have another heat dome or a heat wave coming up in the next couple weeks here. And, you know, essentially, you guys remember last year I had like 120 Fahrenheit weather for a couple days and when I had all my open air rigs and a few OctaMiners, I literally had to shut down everything because it was just way too hot. The ambient temperature outside coming in was just was just too hot for my open air rigs and everything was just was just really hot. Things were getting up to 70 to 75, 80 degrees Celsius uh, during that heat wave, during the heat dome. And so I'm curious to know if my OctaMiner wall here is gonna have the same fate. And so that's what I'm, I guess, excited to see uh, coming up. That's a good test, right? That's a good test the next couple of weeks in the summertime when we're gonna have potentially another heat wave or a heat dome. And we'll just essentially see if these OctaMiners can handle, you know, the heat, right? And all exhausting out my 18-inch uh, exhaust fan. Again, I have to go to Home Depot, get some wood or plywood or something, make like a wall so that all the air will funnel better through the exhaust fan and not just, you know, it is dispersing a little bit over here. I definitely can feel some of the heat uh, this way. So yeah, once I put like a big wall here, just, just a standing wall of some sort and uh, hopefully something above here, maybe a tarp, a tarp above here, just so that no air is gonna be seeping out this way, right? So that's my idea, guys, that's my idea. And I know, I know, I haven't bought shorter C13 to C14, 14 gauge cables yet, because I feel like this is fine. I don't need to spend any more money on, on cables. I already bought a bunch of these, these C13, C14 cables like, uh, like half a year ago. And I, I feel like, uh, I know my OCD is probably kicking in. You guys have OCD out there, probably like Red Panda. Get like one footer, two footer, C13, C14 cables. And I will, guys. I will eventually. I gotta do it in the barn as well. You guys know in the barn, I have a wall of OctaMiners there. Yeah, that, that's, that's fine. All right, guys. Now, let's end off the video with talking about my uh, couple projects I have coming up here on the channel is the 12... GPU mining frame. You guys know this is the GPU risers Omega mining frame. This is a massive mining frame. And so in that video I did a couple days ago, which we gave away two frames, thank you guys for participating, is that I am wanting to try to add 24 A2000s on this mining frame. So I got 12 here, including the one on there. And then I got another 12 uh, modded A2000s in the OctaMiner X12 that I want to put all on here and utilize two 12 USB 
motherboards. I actually have two different versions. Uh, one has an M.2 slot and the other one doesn't. I believe that's really the only difference, I believe. So I, might, I may have to use SATA on, on this one for the hard drive, uh, which is okay. But anyways, besides the point, I, yeah, this is gonna be a big project that I'm gonna do very soon. And it sounds like you guys wanted me to do that in that video, so I will. I'm gonna utilize two 1500 watt power supplies. So I have 12 A2000s on one 1500 watt and then the other 12 on another 1500 watt. So that should be enough, 3000 watts capacity. Uh, that should theoretically be enough. And uh, yeah, 12 on this side and then 12 on the other side. And some of you guys may be wondering, Rip Panda, where are you gonna get the other bars? You know, the bars for the other side here for the other 12 A2000s. And yes, I have another Omega frame. I'm just gonna open it up and install the two bars on this side so that I have 12 and 12. All right, so that's gonna be a fun video. I may GoPro it so that we can just document the whole process or I don't know, maybe, we'll see, we'll see. All right guys, going along, last couple projects here I got going on, I just received this mini. I don't know, uh, I forgot the name of it, but Crypto Miner Bros just sent me this thing. This thing is, uh, okay, here it is. I'll just quickly do a little unboxing, a little sneak peek type of thing. Look at this. Look at that. This is, uh, I, I, I forgot the name of it. It's at the tip of my tongue right now, but it's a, a little tiny Ethereum I, I, and Ethereum Classic ASIC miner. All right, it's like a so This thing is actually pretty big, and actually I just received another uh, iPolo V1 Mini from BelayMining.com. All right, here's here. You guys have you guys have seen plenty of these on my channel. I man, I'm just getting sent these left, right, and center. I probably have to do a giveaway on these because I, I really don't need I don't really really don't need any more of these. So uh, yeah, I got a uh, iPolo V1 Mini, and then this guy right here, which this is very interesting. So guys, yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna have review videos, more review videos of these things, and talking about I guess you know, the future potential, potentially, of these things. And, you know, I, I wanna do a lot of, like, cost analysis stuff uh, regarding these iPolos as, uh, you know, they, they are very efficient, right? Uh, anyway, so I'll get, I'll get to that in, when I do these videos. And, uh, yeah, so thank you, Crypto Miner Bros. And thank you, BelayMining.com uh, for sending these to me. So that's, that's awesome, that's awesome. All right, guys, that's it. That's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about everything today and I guess the biggest one for me was all that networking for my new place which I'm super excited and man look at my sticker wall here it's getting it's getting pretty big here and uh, I just realized I got to put the OctaMiner sticker on here ah oh, geez just look at everybody look at that look at DJ Mines on my mouth here TPS Miner, Teaspoon, Vokiko, we got Bees Crypto Mining Veteran Miner, Mining King, oh, Veteran Miner, I totally forgot, man. I gotta put these on my, on my little gold, you know what, here, you know what, if you guys watch to the end here, let's put these on right now, hold on. Uh, let's just, let's just turn everything off. And, uh, all right, let you guys will see it right now, hold on. All right, look at these beautiful red six pin to six pin PCIe cables. Look at that, this is very nice. Veteran Miner, thank you so much, man. Uh, this is upside down, but it says the Veteran Miner right there. Oh man, we got a dead fly right here. Or Yeah, is that dead? Yeah, that's dead. Uh, look at that, Veteran Miner, thanks, buddy. Guys, Veteran Miner is also another crypto mining YouTuber. Go subscribe to him. He sent these to me, I believe, like uh, a week or two ago, and I just put them in now. Sorry it's so late. But look, they're all on. It looks like all my little gold shells are on, so that looks great. I don't have to use these crappy looking uh, Parallel Miner uh, six pin cables anymore. <laughs> this looks way better. This looks actually pretty awesome. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching. Please let me know of everything that you saw in this video. Please comment down below just regarding my networking setup and uh, how you guys like it. And uh, if you guys have any other suggestions, please let me know down below. But I got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of uh, terminating to do on uh, at the new house. So uh, that will come in the next couple of weeks here. And I'll probably vlog about it and uh, set this all up. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. Have a good one and peace out.